in Costa Rica now and I'm actually in Puerto Viejo, uh, which is on the Caribbean coast and um, it's just, just finished raining. Um, it's absolutely poured it down for about three or four hours. And if you listen in the background, you can actually hear a lot of familio, um, Dendrobatus familio, the little strawberry poison dart frogs, and the place is absolutely crawling with them. Um, it's a perfect environment for them. If you know where to look, you can find them in the, in the hundreds, literally. Um, so I'd just like to show you some, because this is a typical tree where they normally breed. They normally lay their eggs and, and deposit their tadpoles in these bromeliads in the wild. And then if you come over, well, let's have a look and we'll see if we can see some, because there's loads around. Another one, and the form that's found on this particular coast, on this particular area, um, is quite different from the normal one. It's not got any blue on the legs that you find in North Costa Rica. You can see there's absolutely hundreds of them all over the place. Let's have a look. There we go. Stunning, stunning frogs, beautiful little things. So, so these tiny, tiny little frogs, it's hard to get an idea of the size and, until, I, until I actually hold one. Um, but as you can see, the tiny, tiny little frogs. And as I said before, um, they don't have any blue on the legs that you'd normally find in some of the other forms that are found in Costa Rica. Um, but hopefully over the next few days you can find a few different colour forms of this particular species. Um, it comes in many, many different colours. Um, we're near the Panamanian border at the moment, and as you go into Panama, you find them um, on different islands in many, many different forms.